Hi there, today I'm gonna work on Adobe After Effects chroma key and motion tracking. As you can see here our video clip and one soldier and one guy and they're talking. And also there is two tracking points as well. Oh, there is also our uh, microphone and here is some empty area. Okay. Also here is our another clip which is sky. We'll use that clip as our sky. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to import my videos here so I will create a new composition after so simply double and double click on here and import videos okay so this is my main video clip and this is the sky hover and over my videos on here and I will create a new composition make it a pre compose uh, I will call it a green screen okay so okay and simply double click here so i will create another pre-compose and i will call it alpha first thing first i'm going to start with motion tracking as you can see here our motion tracking point isn't visible enough so uh, we have to find our second option here you see a small red light i will start tracking on, on this point okay so simply just uh, right click here new null object rename it tracker okay so just tracker and here is our view not see on your screen uh, just go to the window and here is uh, tracker okay so uh, I will create a null object just right click here and new null object okay so I will just select this uh, clip green screen and this is my tracking point and go to the track motion and click here and simply drag and drop here and also scale it down and select this point like this and uh, edit target null object okay uh, and just simply uh, click here for and click uh, analyze forward it will take some time it's done and just simply cl click here apply x and y okay so this is our tracking data and also here null object uh, here is also our tracking data okay just click here and link to the null object okay so our uh, second part will be uh, alpha as you can see here our video clip uh, uh, here is one two tracking points also here uh, empty area and uh, a microphone now we are going to remove all of those parts and uh, we will pick this empty area as well okay so just simply right click here take a new solid uh, the color it doesn't matter really so just take one color okay select your solid and click here and, and now just mask him okay Also the same thing here and here you can see the empty area white background so I will just take another I will create another mask just simply click here select your solid click and select here our masking is just perfect so just click here okay and um, alpha invert match now the second part and click your main video clip and go to here and search key light key light 1.2 drag and drop on here screen color 
select this color trigger and select here and final result and go to a screen matte okay it's not perfect and its color is almost gray and there is some noise and we need completely alpha channel so what we can do go to the screen matte and adjust here a little bit see hmm. for now it is perfect so go to screen mat and final result okay cool uh, now we're going to work on uh, green screen pre-compose so as you can see color and source and both are the same clip select this alpha channel and change this mode to a stencil alpha okay so it's almost you cannot see anything okay uh, go to here and source key light again Take like 1.2. Uh, take this uh, dropper and see the green screen, and that's fine. And change the blending mode to a uh, color. You can see here that here is also some green line. Uh, so uh, I will take another effect, and solid composite. Something like solid composite. And now it's just fine. If I go to the main composition here, so now if I play this video, so you will see. If you like my video, please like and subscribe my channel. And if you have any question, please write down below. Have a good day. See you next time.